Yo, hydrate. We got some water over here. We can make it happen. No, that makes sense. Thanks for pointing it out. Yeah, I I didn't think that was the sort of issue that we could, like, recalibrate or anything. I thought that was specifically with motion controls. You could maybe go fix it. Hopefully not. I don't know. We'll see how it feels controlling Mario this run. Yeah, I'm doing good, doing good, bro, Mario. Hope you are doing well, man. Just... Reset a run a little ways in. Let's okay, Now we're fully powered. We have recalibrated our stick, which may or may not make things better. We'll see. Only two minutes in, but. The movement's been pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, simple. Have a good lunch, my dude. Let us know what you get. We need to give like a lifetime sub to Best Friends Club if this ends up PBing. We're just like, oh my god. Mr. Beast Burgers? Is Mr. Beast some fast food place in the area or something? These just PB these are PB attempts. Yep. Trying to cut that 320. I was wanting to do no reset runs. But uh you know, that happens. Uh, I forgot Mr. Beast was like a big YouTuber. I remember Nuke showed me a couple of her videos where he was basically just like, he just chucked money at people. But he started a burger ch chain, really. I guess in line with the other things I've seen him do. I guess that makes sense. What's kind of like the standout factor of a Mr. of a Mr. Beast burger? Like, does it come with any like special sauce or ingredients on it or anything? Or is it just 
a burger that tastes pretty good. Pretty good tasting burger that's actually reasonably priced. Yeah, it'd be worse. Right, which did his wealth come from just being a content creator? Or you know, did he have some money going into the whole thing? Because, I mean, he has a lot of money. I was like, he had to have some going into it, right? Eat a Frida. Ah, uh, so pretty good first two splits. Basically perfect front six minutes there. On to uh, the 11 minute split. All right, good luck, Jacob. That was like the first mistake of the run right there. What's up, Chillax? How you doing, gamer? Ah, uh, I disagree. Was that like a first frame jump I did or something? Wow, okay. The sand having to balance out how good the first two splits were. Good shit, dude. How do I feel about outfits being optimal? I mean, who's to know exactly what's optimal in this kind of speedrun category? There's so many variables. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can do whatever route they want. So I don't know if I really have a feeling on that. I haven't done the optimal route in like actually ever. But it's cool to see there's always just new developments for a category I care a lot about. So that you can do a variation on the route where you try to clip in lake. And it's a pretty hard clip, but if you get it within 10 seconds, it's technically a faster route. look too much into like what that cap route is i know one of the hard things you have to do because of the route is you gotta like do a big old leap of faith for the bird in cap
But yeah, it's something I always knew was gonna be a thing. I've always been surprised optimally that the like any percent late clip is not optimal in uh in darker side. Yeah, now you can do down throws, but you can't do just freelance down throws. You gotta do like a ground pound and then shake the controller and it'll send it out. And yeah, the mechanic as well as we were talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's all those messages you sent. You could interpret that in like three different ways. But yeah, you can do the mechanic outfit as well. I always thought to myself, the pirate outfit and the mechanic outfit are fast enough. Like, those make enough sense. There just wasn't really a third outfit moon that made sense. Like in the like 1.0 days of the route, I tried to route in the uh, the doctor outfit in Moon, but then it was like, it is not worth it to do that much in Moon 2. Which obviously removed that Moon. And it was like, well, I think outfit Moons are just kind of out of the route. Are... Just, wow, dude. I fucking disagree, Sam. I fucking disagree with all of those missing. I was like, all right, I'm just climbing the fucking pole, dude. That's so obnoxious. Right, I was like, I, I don't know. I, everyone's got their own preference. I'd probably have the mechanic outfit, like, lower on my tier list. I don't even think the, um... I don't even think that's the best costume that you wear in a darker side run. It'd be pirate outfit. Gobomb, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate you, gamer. But good to see the mechanics outfit has some love for sure. I don't think it's a bad costume. Yeah, it's a speed run. Super Mario Odyssey is kind of hard because there is like a slideshow you can follow, but it doesn't show you where every single moon is. It just is like, yeah, go here and then do this moonless. Really? 
That was too early? Okay. So, like, you gotta know, like, some moon names and roughly what things are in the area. I sadly think Sumari Odyssey isn't the easiest thing just to, like, jump into a run with. You kind of got to watch, like, some videos, know where all the moons are. Oh, this is different because we screwed up the second hit. That's weird. Nine 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 sounds like torture. Yeah, gross. I'm glad that 100% does not have to get to 999 anymore. Because turns out you don't need 999 moons in order to get the little star in the profile. And that's what they base the 100% on. Ryan, it's not even having played the game. Because, like, if I told you right now what moon is under the ground, I, I think 99%... Uh, people who played Super Mario Odyssey, even people who love Super Mario Odyssey, couldn't tell you what moon that is. So if a document said under the ground, you probably don't know what it's talking about. Yeah, there is a moon named under the ground. <laughs> It is the one in Cascade under the T-Rex, the rock next to him, that is from a moon rock moon. That was absolutely the intern whose job it was to name every moon in Super Mario Odyssey. That was them being like, motherfucker, I don't know what to do. I've had to name 880 of these fucking things. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, so that sand was terrible. So there is at least like 20 seconds of rainbow I can pull out of sand. There are some moons that share names. I don't think there is any moon that, yeah, repeats a name of another moon. I think they actually do have all the stink names. I don't know that for sure, but I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't really mean to keep a triple jump going there. Yeah, I can't think of any instance where that would be the case. I'm just trying to think through some of them. Oh, you did the race we had on SRU with Hey There and BP a couple months back. Yeah, that was fun. That was cool to see runners at a high, high level playing this game. After the torture of watching me play it for months. Hey, man, this game has you do that a lot. I need to count up the nut moons. I don't know, chat. Try to keep track. How many nuts do we bust in this kingdom? We have not busted one yet. But how many nut busts directly lead to a man? There's one. And not a skifter. Thank you for gifting us up to Chillax. Two. 
thought it was weird it came out at that bad angle. Um, there's three. Are you kidding me, game? That's supposed to bust the nut. Four. That's literally four moons in a row. Nut, 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 nut. See, that's nut at the dead end. Nut around the corner is another moon later on. There is another around the corner nut. Moon. Um, can, what? I just had like no momentum on any of those. Five. That's what I'm saying. That poor intern had to be like, oh God, they're both around a corner. Okay, but that one's like kind of a dead end. Yeah, I had to pull it back. Didn't have the distance. Six. Six in the first visit. It's eight and any percent. That makes sense. There are a lot available. And here, during this cutscene, let's just try to think ahead. Because odds are we're going to forget about this shit. Um, so six here in the first visit. When you pop in... Seven. And then you warp up, bam, bam, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15. That's it. <laughs> 15 nuts give you moons in this game. Fifteen nuts, yeah. Anybody else tired just thinking about that? Jesus. Yeah, so the wooded rainbow is actually pretty good. Of these first four, the only one that has a bad rainbow straight up is sand one, which makes sense. It's by far the longest split. Smoke and a shower. Just like, God. You're sitting there like, God, I can't see straight. So, Wooded 2 has nine nut busts. The one in the rocket sub area. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, what's up, Samados? 
I'm sure. Yeah, I was trying to think of any others we don't get. Obviously, those are all pretty fast moons. Because none of them really have a cutscene behind them. It's just bust the nut, get the moon. Controls feel good to this point. Again, 26 minutes in. Like, all of them was just, like, dumb shit. None of it was like, oh, fuck you, controller. How'd you not do that? Which, again, we only recalibrated the stick. So, like, if buttons are weird. Buttons are, like, you probably just ate the input because you tried to go too fast. Or the game lags to shit in Metro or something. Maybe so, yeah, I don't know. If Darker required 600 moons, it'd be longer. <laughs> I, don't think it I don't think different would be the word I would use at that point. It's just, yeah, you just, you get all these moons and you get another hundred. Yeah, if it was 400, you'd skip out on 100 of the slowest. Like if it was, like if it was 400 instead of 500, maybe you like don't go back to say like Snow Kingdom or something. I can see at that point Snow Kingdom is maybe just like an any percent playthrough of it basically. Metro and or sand instead. I mean, if you scroll down, we literally get like 50 moons in sand too. Also, I forgot that again because I was talking. In terms of moons per minute, snow is definitely one of the slowest. such a weird fucking camera angle yeah i was like, we just have to jump down right we're obviously talking about theoretically something that isn't actually in the route isn't a routing option but regardless i think like as the person who originally routed this category I think snow would get cut before any other kingdom just got kind of full on. And obviously nothing gets completely cut. You still have to go to all the kingdoms. Just in terms of what you would do a lot less of.
I would suspect you're just gonna get like the 10 from Snow. We're also talking specifically if like, all right, we're going down to 400 moons instead. We would need a breakdown of like, okay, yeah, you get a lot of moons in sand too, but how many of those would you just get either way? I don't. That sounds like fucking assholes, man. It. I just lost my triple jump momentum. Oh, man. Sucks. I tried to make up some backup strat and I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, if I would have got that moon, he would have stolen Cappy. I had to do that. If you get on most parts on top of the cage, it's fine. Because that was an old klepto skip before they used meme tree. If I had done the first, gotten that moon, the one on the tree, I would have just dropped down and tried to just get the moon under the bridge since I wouldn't have touched the floor or anything. Well, so that sucks. I keep having just like random deaths and lost. Like not even at the places you would expect me to have them, like on TNT skip, on like meme tree. It's just like, nap. Nah, I just fall in the goop at some point. Yeah. So if you ever have a death before you get that moon, you do need to remove Klepto. Yeah, I guess that could have been a backup, a faster backup. You just drop down, land directly on the moon, and then cap jump out of there, and then you can still do a little cap throw into the moon below. All right, well, this run right now is about 11 seconds worse than the last run, but this that three-cycled Mecha Wiggler, so we can effectively be ahead of that, hopefully here after Night Metro. I tried to make up for it. I did some sliding there. Um, well, now we might be even with the last run, assuming I can two cycle Wiggler. a lot better on the first phase. Yeah, I simplified the new splits and I because I like to give some clarity to the audience of just like roughly how far into the run we are, how many moons I've got. So now you can just see it within this within the kingdom. Uh, by the end of it this is how many moons we should have. Because in post game it's hard to keep track. 
Ideally, any MacGuffin-based speed game, it would just be SM64 style, where there's just a star count. Hell yeah. Good shit. Yeah, it's 30 splits instead of what was actually 49 in the last one, because all the Toadette moons I just combined into one split. So there was no 480 or 490. What's up, Hell Knight? How you doing, buddy? Alright, don't get the moon here. Do not get the moon. Yeah, that was a great pattern. He just came straight down the left side. I avoided those shots up to the right. And just timed each shot. That's the pattern you want every time. Very, very easy. Even I can do it. Now just go straight to the power line. No. I'm bad. So now this. Well, that sucks. Just couldn't control my Mario. Oh, I'm so fucking sad, dude. Might not be able to watch. Yeah, it's gonna be a little later. So it's not that it's faster. It's actually the exact same speed, but theoretically, if my movement had been better, the taxi cycles were gonna be in an easier spot. So it actually makes, makes it more consistent to have good times in Metro while being the exact same speed for a later point. Ghost Town. Yeah, unfortunately, my movement was so trash, it didn't matter. And then fucking the bank's shot of the seed off the ceiling. What the fuck? And now I took the wrong seed on trying to get the curve. So now this is going to be slow movement for the seed bit. That's all my goal really is, is then to just chuck that seed and get it in the area. And then I'll go replace it in. Oh, to you. Schlurk, my dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just take that a little slow. Yeah, it's because technically, like, you haven't banked the moons. I don't know. It. I have a feeling if Super Mario Odyssey 2 were to become a thing, I don't think that would be a complaint from enough gamers casually to where they would consider changing it. I have a feeling that's one of those things in gaming where Mario 64 had it correct and it literally never should have been changed. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think ultimately, like, Galaxy 2 being the outlier, I think they like to do different stuff with each one. I can see the same engine being used, but I don't think it's just going to be another adventure with Mario and Cappy. It's weird. So, like, the Nintendo Switch, I think, is Nintendo's strongest console since the Super Nintendo. I think it's, you know, just, like, overall accessibility. It can be a handheld, or you can use it with your TV. Mod or whatever. I think it's got a really good library of games. Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey. They're both fantastic. And those are just the ones I care about. But, like, a lot of people harp up games like Animal Crossing. Splatoon 2. Smash 5. Like, all this stuff. Um... But if there's one thing that's a little weird about it, it's just the timeline of everything. Yeah, Jacob, I know the Wii is a thing. I think the Switch is better. I think the Switch is better and the Super Nintendo is better, so my statement still stands. But it's weird, like, the pacing of it, because... Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey, it's hard to think about the fact that we're in 2021. Both these games came out in 2017. Like, that's bonkers. And so it's like, I think just, aw, oh, come on. Molly, how you doing? But yeah, like, I, you know, it, so it creates this expectation that, oh, we're just going to get a second game of both of these series, right? When, like, that has not been a thing since the NES. That there were two mainline Mario games and two mainline Zelda games on a Nintendo console. Right, that's if for Mario, yeah, the Wii gave it Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2. And Galaxy 2, I always notice, and like, trust me, I would love nothing more than like new Donkey Kong games, new Rayman games, new Mario games, like new games of the franchises I care about, sure. But Galaxy 2 is absolutely a fucking outlier. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Let me see if I can still get it. Okay, we still got it. The movement was not optimal by any means, but it's fine. But I'm saying for, like, obviously we're expecting Breath of the Wild 2. Like, that's already been announced and everything. They're not going to cancel that. But I don't know if it's a foregone conclusion that we're just going to see a second mainline Mario game on the Switch. But hopefully I'm wrong. That would be cool. Especially now also hearing that rumor that they might have just told the Mario Odyssey team, go work on a Donkey Kong game. It's definitely something else to consider. Yeah, I was like, that's probably some big rainbow split. Even though we definitely had some mistakes there. The later part of it was fine. Officially, our summer best is 319, so we're getting there. Oh! Oh, 
Uh, not for the purpose of what I was talking about. I was like, like those for all intents and purposes are just their own franchise. The tennis games, golf games, party games, cart. I'm just talking about mainline Mario games like the platformers. And specifically of the 3D variety. Strikers is soccer. Sluggers is baseball. That was weird. I'm gonna do a little semicircle there. Okay. Like, I don't care unless, as long as I go through the wall. Nintendo DS. I know there's some, I want to say it was on GameCube. Yeah, so that is a clip that's been known about for about a year. Um, the trade-off is it's much, much easier. As long as you press the buttons correctly, you will go through the wall. There's not really, like, any angling I have to do or anything with Mario. The trade-off is that you get one shot at it. Once the crates are gone, you can't do the clip. You would have to, like, go into an area and reload it and then come back. But I very much preferred overdoing downstairs. Probably optimally if I nailed, if I just dropped down and I hit downstairs clip within like three tries, that's probably faster. But that literally never happens for me. was Wii Sports. It's definitely one of, it's probably the most iconic Nintendo sports game they've ever made, which is weird to think about considering it's something. But yeah, it's considering it's like the only big sports game I can think of that doesn't involve Mario in some sort. I will say as someone who got to play Mario vs. Sonic at the Olympics last year for MoMAM, pretty fun. Good RNG. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yes. 
Oh, it did come out. Yeah, I didn't know which one we played last year. I was going to say, yeah, I think that was like basically a break even. Uh, still a good snow split. Wasn't too much. I was really upset about there movement wise. This run, what, had one major mistake, the death and lost. Very random death. And then just some general sloppiness in Metro and Sand. Oh. Nice. Got that good pot. We actually got the angle I wanted, get the cap return jump, which will carry me all the way over to the gushing. Yeah. I think I might have put him in a, in a bad spot. I think he's about to despawn. I don't know. The despawn on him feels random for all intents purposes. I just focus on try to get him up there. If he's there, he's there. If he's not, I got to go down. I think he's gone. Nope. I can't. I, I, I just, I can't believe. <sighs> Annoying. That's not like, I'm, I'm annoyed at myself. I just tried to go too early, and then I bounced off Cappy instead of just falling down. Because then once they unstun, you can't capture them. Like, that wasn't the game being random. That was me being bad. I don't want to walk away from speedrunning this game at some point with people, if you primarily only watch me, thinking the game is just bad. The game's got its, you know, the game got it has its problems on a minor level, like literally any other speed game in the world. That's just annoying to deal deal with. And like all other speedrunners, I definitely get into bad cases where I just say, "Fuck this game. This game sucks." Yada yada. When it's like, it was my fault. And I do wish I was just better about being like calling out, fuck me. Just sometimes when you try to speed run a game and move as quickly as possible, things that are not precise become very precise. Like, very, very kind of random, awkward shit. So, like, right here, I'm trying to move through this fast enough to get back to this gushing before he despawns. Oh. Yeah, I didn't like that angle. We got to him, though. What's up, Revan? How you doing, gamer? In a completely ideal world, I would like it if I always called out when I think legitimately that's the game being stupid. Not even necessarily that I got on the monkey. Like, maybe it is my fault. It sucks that I got punished as hard as I did for a extremely minor thing that I wish wasn't, like, so awkwardly precise. Yeah, this is better by about, like, 15 seconds or something. I lost a lot of time right here just jumping out of the hot springs. Nice. 
Yeah, you can tell I was sort of overthinking that. Jump out a little bit. Now it's better by about 24 or 5 seconds. And we screwed up the boss fight a little bit. It was not the most minor mistake you can make on the boss, but it was definitely a time loss. Good, caught him. Try to stand back there a little bit to make sure he's gonna follow me. The camera keeps awkwardly wanting to look at the boss. So you have to keep kind of cranking it back. Okay. You wanna break up that shot a little bit. So this is better by about 40 seconds right now. For anyone wondering, the reason why when I have him stunned over there near the hot springs and then I lay off and let him move and hit it, if you don't let him move right there, you'll actually lose like 30 seconds because he won't stop where he did. He'll just, his AI will want to go all the way around the arena and go all the way back over to like the lighthouse. So you got to chase him. It takes forever. Yeah, that was for me when, obviously, I am of a group of people in the world who, like, the things I care about, like, you know, like, like in terms of, I guess, like, a profession or anything, I get to stream, I get to play online, that was not affected at all, even though it sucked that, like, I couldn't go see family, I couldn't really see my friends, like, that pales in comparison to the people who are just like, no, my, my passion could not go on, and that sucks. A little bit of a time loss here in Seaside. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah! Dr. Hoops, thank you for the 28 months. Appreciate you, gamer. Hope you're doing well. Think about athletes who, yeah, have trained for years, and you're only in the prime of your athletic point in your life for so long. All of a sudden, they just couldn't do anything there. Oh, okay. People who are actors, like, I know Broadway shut down. At the end, I'm glad those things didn't go down and it prioritized the safety of all the athletes, the actors, people involved for like audiences and just making the thing go in general staff and whatnot same way i'm glad gdqs didn't have live events a lot of online stuff really dinah yeah i can't imagine that was very easy Why, hello there, Mr. Author Blues. How you doing, buddy? So, despite some uh, sloppiness and mistake in different places, this is not a trash pace run. 
Yeah, w in one month from now, we'll already be like 24 hours deep into uh, SGDQ. Should be cool. It's probably the best first hour pace I've had in the last week or so. And it's not even like an amazing run. It's just not a bad run. All right. Tried to rush the input. Confirm for person in winter? No. They're playing it by ear. They're they're all just thinking about how to make SGDQ happen. I'm sure there's something internal internally thinking about is AGDQ gonna be able to be in person or not. But we'll see what happens. If I had to guess, I do think AGDQ 2022 is gonna be in person. But I could see it being some level of a reduced event. I don't know if it's time to go back to just like 3,500 people jammed in a hotel. We'll see what happens. Am I doing a run at GDQ or hosting? Uh, I'll be uh, actually doing neither one of those things specifically. But I'll be on the pre-show. I've got 10 interviews I'll be running, so that should be fun. And uh, I know I will at least be on the couch for Nintendo's run of KH2, which is actually the finale of the marathon, so that's fun. Other than that, if I am going to be asked to be on any other couches, I haven't been, so. The only other one that I could see possibly I'd be on the couch for would be if Vex wanted a commentator for, like, Rayman. And I, I leave it up to runners if they want to ask me or not. He Vex is a really good commentator, so I could see him just doing his own stuff. Yeah, who knows? With every obviously everything that's gone down now, maybe more people at events like GDQs, PAXs, all these things will just be more aware of not being fucking gross. Because, yeah, it was like even well before COVID, like there, it was a thing like you went to a GDQ. There was like a 50-50 shot. You were going to be some level of sick during or after the event. So hopefully we'll see a lot more people just like it's more a part of our culture to use masks. We brought this up the other day when we were hanging out with friends. Man, really? But uh, I'd be totally okay if the concept of handshakes was literally just phased out. I enjoyed getting to meet Tommy Refinus. One of the creators of Super Meat Boy a number of years ago at a PAX. And he was like, he literally, for everyone who comes up and wants to shake his hand, he just goes for the fist bump. It's not. It's, uh, it's not any sort of insult. Not to say, hey, you're gross. I don't want to touch you. It's just like, I, I don't know where you've been all day, man. I don't know why handshake is such a massive thing in our culture. Well, 
Let's go fist bumps, baby. So if I run into you at a GDQ or a PAX or whatever, you're like, what's up, Spike? Fist bumps are coming in, and you're cool. I have nothing against you. Well, there's a decent chance you have probably touched the equivalent of a couple hundred other people that day, whether directly or indirectly. Yeah, I'm still going to bring masks with me. So I'm being on elbow bumps. Same thing. I fist bumps are a little more direct, but you know, if people wanted to elbow bump me, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's go, dude. Even fucking like, if you're comfortable just being like, I'm, a, I'm a wave. <laughs> like, I hope you're doing well. Thanks. Nice to meet you. I don't need to touch you. Exactly. You touch a chair. You know how many ass cheeks have sat in those chairs? At least four. Unless you are searching out the back row. Hat tipping. Yeah, Nukes was bringing it the other day. Like, what if, like, bowing was the thing? <laughs> Bring bowing back, dude. You want a butt bump? I do like they do in sporting events where they like jump into each other. They do the big leap. They jump like, yeah. yeah! Yeah, see, just like that. Really? I'm glad I don't die on that, but it's a dumb time loss. Like, come on, Nintendo. Make triple jumps possible in your 3D Mario games. Those were my, like, I remember the first time I ever saw, like, a couple basketball players do that in some game. And I was like, that has such cool energy to it. Like, I vibe with that butt bump. I was I literally just, to anyone, just want to be like, yeah, dude, let's go. Jump, big energy. Yeah, you do gotta watch out though. It was, again, this last year we got, during the pandemic, we got super into watching. Nukes had already watched all of it, basically. But uh, into watching Big Brother. And there was one season where this kind of bigger athletic guy was, he wanted to do the big like butt bump thing with a, with a smaller girl. And she definitely like destroyed her. <laughs> You gotta be careful on the landing. So probably don't wanna realistically do that all over the place. I don't know if y'all knew this about me. I'm not the most athletic person in the world. It was like a big ankle twist. She had a she had a uh, a brace or whatever on it basically the rest of the season. We're gonna slurk a dirk a slurk a dirk a <laughs> Right, probably realistically you want at least like, it's someone of, like, it's a, it's a Dragon Ball Z fusion kind of situation. You want someone about your power level and about your height. Slurk a
You're six foot, 165. Oh, yeah, I would crush you. I guess not by much. I'm 35 pounds heavier than you are. On a bad day, I'm probably 40 pounds heavier than you. If you put on pure muscle, though, that ain't going to be good for me, though. Really? Well, that was a different way to screw that up. I think my approach was in general just weird because when I popped out, I wasn't going through the checkpoint. Bubbles are hard for me because my butt is so high up. <laughs> I'm now just imagining Lara's just like four feet a leg and then just like a little stumpy dude at the top with all ass. Two feet of ass, four feet of leg, dude. They were not at the spots I was expecting. He might poke me. I tried to real quick stop, step back and hit him. Some sloppiness in a couple spots here in Bowser's. Slurderk circuit, we're gonna have to slurk right up on the nasty penny. We're gonna eat me all that slurk us up. Yo, Arthrax, what's up, man? Thank you for the 26 months. Appreciate you, gamer. You ever just know the game is bad? Okay, that is an instance where the game is bad. Like, that one spot should have absolutely snapped me in place. I was a little too far on the inside. Yeah, the golds should be easy because these are new splits. This is only my third run. My third and a half run. But uh, in terms of the run itself, like it's, it is solid so far is how I would describe this run. Still over two hours of gameplay left where it can suck, but right now, not a bad run. I'm actually not using balance splits because you kind of need to have enough runs, enough data to make the balance splits that I want to do. Eventually, I need a semi-accurate sum of best. Good 
Topper. Yeah, if you... Because I really, still really like that concept for my splits. And I don't mind taking the, like, five minutes after I get a new run or a lot of gold splits or something. I don't mind taking five minutes to balance the splits. I think that's good mentally. Um, but, yeah, you need a lot of data for it to actually work. I technically, after the second run, could do it, but I'm not worrying about it right now. is such a weird thing that happens at the tops of walls. That's a little bit the game being bad. Like, I screwed up, but the fact that it punishes you in that way. There's just, like, an invisible wall sometimes when you're, like, too close at the top of the wall. Man. That's always annoying. A lot of sloppiness in Bowser's one, but Bowser one is honestly just probably one of the hardest splits in the run. Finishing off with the Mecha Brutal here. Is so incredibly unfair what just happened, dude. That is so incredibly unfair that he came back at that perfect spot. I can't. I can't. I can't. That is so unfair. Like. It feels like I rolled a D4 and there's one of the four sides that could not be there the exact time I was diving back. He just won't grab the ledge. I can't get him to tap down to grab the ledge. I can't do it in a row. That sucked, man. Literally just won't work. That's so unfair, dude. 
I was like, okay, this sucks that this happened, but there's a literal three and four chance I will be able to get back to the Mecha Brutal in time. And it was like, nope, the ears are going to be right fucking here. The ears are going to be right in front of you. Oh, time to lose a bunch of time. <laughs> that sucks, man. I don't get it. Not correct at all, but okay. And then we had that fun energy where just... Nope, I could not throw Cappy in the same direction as the Pokio. I don't know why, but it wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen, man. The game to could detect. The game detects if you are on any pace, and it will not let Mario grab that ledge. That's all he needs to do, is I need to tap down, and he grabs the ledge. If I push forward too hard, he'll fall off. This game snowballs for like no fucking reason. I could go do it for y'all after this like 500 times. I will go tap down and he will grab it every time. He will not tap down there when we're on pace. Which hey, that's my fault. Good bunny. Rock. I was like, what if Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced at E3? I'd be very confused. Like, that game's been out for two and a half years now. I don't know. New Kingdom Hearts games. I wasn't crazy about KH3. I know with Remind, a lot more people were a lot more hopeful for the series going forward. I don't know. If KH4 comes out, I'd probably play it. Yeah, they blow our minds and like Kingdom Hearts 8 is coming out. Say we're going to go backwards, bitch. It pulls the Star Wars and it wants to tell like the middle of a story first and then go back. Mickey's your daddy. Oh, God. Was Sora's mom just mini super muffled back in cage one? Like, 
Sora's mom is just not canon, right? Because if you accept she is canon, Sora is an absolutely fucking terrible son. He ran off to find his friends, literally doesn't give a shit about his mom or whoever else lives there. Like, until they put something in some Kingdom Hearts game, I am going to assume Sora's mom was a, oh, she was retcon. She does not exist. Yeah, not his mom, the rat. Which way thought it was just a storm. Like, honestly, that makes sense. He says, a storm. Oh no, something that is going to rip the entire world apart. Like, yeah, maybe you value your mother or your friends a little sooner there. But if it's a storm, like, yeah, it makes sense that your raft is going to get fucked. And you're pretty upset about that. I thought it was going to have one health left, not two. Yeah, this this run should have been 127 out of any percent. Two major mistakes and a lot of little bits of slop. That's kind of the run right now. Fell off Mega Brutal and died and lost. Yeah, it's not really the halfway point time-wise. I guess for me, the halfway point is more like after Snow 2. So it's we're close to the halfway point of the run. Even though it is easier to say like, yeah, any percent is the first half, post-game is the second half. Oh, well, okay, then we're going to do this. For the love of God, dude.
Yeah, it's probably gonna lose like 10 seconds here or something. Six, but yeah. actually, that's probably more accurate. Yo, simple. Thank you for giving the sub to Jacob. Appreciate you, bud. I guess to the side. Yeah, we're going to miss it. Oh, no, okay. I make up shit for that movement to that scarecrow every single time. Because it's weird knowing how to handle that little going from the moon rock to it and then continuing into the momentum. For the timer challenge. We're beating Cappy back here by a bit, so that's good. Yeah, despite the mistakes, this is easily my most solid run I've had in the last week or so. Yeah, there's the Nintendo games not giving you a triple jump. So what, you've got Winter Coat Peach. You got Explorer Outfit Peach, Overalls Peach. Kimono Peach, Bathing Suit Peach. And the like, I don't know how to describe it. Just the like, the Metro Kingdom where she's in like the dress and the nice top hat. Anybody who can remember those? What are your favorites and least favorites of those? For extra credit, rank all of them from one to six. Yeah, business casual? I don't know. It's not really business casual. Like she's out on the town. to do that. Yeah, slow, but that was my best option because I came out at a really fucked angle. Well, but there are six total. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> that makes zero sense. Lurker hitboxes, that's another thing I will say fuck this game for. That shit sucks. Yeah, Wedding Dress Peach is one we didn't throw in there. There's like vanilla Princess Peach outfit you see her in in the Mushroom Kingdom at the end of the game. Wedding Dress Peach. I was thinking of like just the ones you see her other than those, I guess, in the Kingdoms. It's somewhat arbitrary. Yeah. All right, so there's been a little bit of sloppiness here. But overall, this has been solid, assuming we don't get dunked on. Yeah, Zelda fan, I'm always going to be there. The one with the cute leggings and the snow outfit. Yeah. Close second being overalls. I really do kind of want to have Kuiper show me what his visual cue is on Blowy Noe. Nope. Yeah. Another pretty big rainbow. Is that country boy showing for the leggings one? Like, that's my number one. I don't think that's very country. Oh, man. I tried to just extend it all the way. A little bit of a time loss here at the start of Cascade 2. Yeah, for the overall. I mean, overalls are cute. The overalls are cute. They just, I just think girls in overalls. If they're rocking them, they're really rocking them. She's got a cute little pink, pink boots. About as rural as it can be, honestly, in Arkansas, which is AR, AK is Alaska. Yeah, 
Fayetteville's like the fun college town. AR for Arkansas, AL for Alabama, AK for Alaska, AZ for Arizona. Yeah! Nice, the impossible jump. That shit is legitimately so fucking hard. Dead to left, thank you for the nine months, appreciate you gamer. Sucks like how much time you lose to that shit. Cause you gotta like make sure Mario fully recovers from the uh from the bonk. Cause then the backup that I use is just a weight stabilize backflip into a dive. Because the spacing just doesn't really work out. Ho flag. Thank you for the 37 months. Appreciate you, gamer. 37 whole ass moons. Yeah, I'm an ass moon. Are, are, like, are you actually fucking kidding me, dude? God, fuck the T-Rex. Cascade 2 is being nice and just awkward as hell. You really want to make sure you don't bonk into him because then he stuns and you can't talk to him for like three seconds after that. So I try to just pull up short without like throwing Cappy or anything because that can also stun him. Stopped ourselves before going off the ledge. So that's good for the bunny movement. Had to pull some weird backups because I thought I was going to have momentum coming out of that cap throw. Unfortunately, I did not. It did make it to where I had Cappy there a little earlier so I could kind of take a little faster movement around to that last moon. 
Still a time save. Could have been better, though. We're going our way towards the 318 Summer Best. Again, actual Summer Best from the last splits was like mid 314. But that did have more splits to it. So you're not expecting something as good. But I definitely want something at least in the like 315 range. Yeah, we'll take the Cascade, too. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible, either. What's up, Ornek? Thank you, my dude. Little bits of time losses here. Nope. That's a hard pipe to get into. So I don't really have any expectations of just instantly going in. I would have to change my timer challenge strat to make that more of a thing, and I'm just not worried about it right now. Good sub area. Oh, the goddamn shop. Well, that was not a spin pound. It was probably one second there. I'm glad it favored his side, because I thought I held up left, but apparently it was practically neutral. Boots in the cats, boots, cats. Boots in, cats in, boots in, cats. Yeah! Dumb, dumb as hell, dude. Tried to cut that corner a little deep. 
And if that gets off, you're just losing a bunch of time. Because Cappy will do anything other than go to the notes at that point. Oh, that's too bad. Um, oh no, he's... <laughs> I, I got stuck. It, it I had a glitchy Pokio state right there. Ah, come on, game. This Bowser's 2 definitely could be a lot better right now. Holy shit, I can't do a spin pound right now. At least the bird gave me good RNG. I wasn't certain I was going to make it off that angle. So I elected to take a half second time loss instead of a 15. Yeah, this was a bad Bowser's too. Just lots of little sloppiness. Right, so ba Bowser's was just bad all day today. I can't believe that's literally the only spot you could possibly land and bomb. That's literally the only place. Game stop, please. Good two tap. I'm so sick. Come on. Game, please stop. So much random shit. <sighs> Bullshit. I pressed right. <laughs> Yeah, Cal, I'd like to get sub 320. Sub 320, it's less about getting sub 320 and more so I estimate once it's below sub 320, that's about the amount of cleanliness that I would want out of this game. I think above 320 is probably me making too many mistakes. Honestly, the post game has just been okay so far. It has not been a great post game. The thing about it is, realistically, for my goals with this game, I kind of just need the run to mostly be okay. That's it. Like, if I went through the whole run and I just avoided major time losses, I'd probably have a 319. However, that is not possible for me. And this has already had two major time losses. And for every major time loss I have, that obviously cuts into how many minor time losses I can make. Yeah, I mean, it's about as much of a nightmare as most any other game is. 
It's hard to optimize it. I've been missing the boomerang the last couple of runs, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get deep. I'm gonna make sure the cheap cheap is between Cappy and I. You should, Cal. Like, it's fun. I was saying Odyssey would probably be a fine one for us to do, like, an amount of our moon challenge to in a sub night. While I'd like to challenge the uh, the Discord to, like, oh, let's do a, let's have a bunch of you jump in. We'll do, like, a super casual, like, darker side or something. Like, just go get whatever moons. I think realistically that wouldn't work. Even if you're familiar with the game, like, heavily, getting 500 moons is not a fast process. Surprisingly few glitches. It's got a lot of clips to it and everything. 1.0 had more glitches and clips and tricks and stuff that were patched out. But there's still, I mean, a handful here and there. I would say relative to like N64 days, yeah, I guess there's not that much. Nope, that sucks. Went too fast. So now I'm for sure gonna miss the 2D cycle coming up. So that was like a very minor time or er, mistake that's costing me like 12 seconds. Cause it's a cycle based mistake. Oh my god, if I lose an extra cycle to this shit, oh my god. Yeah. It's just the one cycle I lost time to. It's gonna probably like 10 seconds or so. It's trying to avoid damage there. So avoid the health refill. I've said if you want like the sign of very good pace for me, I'd be like out of seaside two at the two hour mark. I got about seven moons left to go or about 35 seconds from that point. All right, cameraman abstract coming up right here. Need to try to keep it aimed down to keep the eel deloaded. Problem is, if I bonk at all, I can't get it. Wow, good RNG, dude. It's not, not probably getting it in here anyways. Are you kidding me? If you br The cheap cheap literally bonked on nothing. The cheap cheap literally bonked on nothing, dude. Now I'm jumping out super early because I don't want to have that glitchiness happen again with I've had it a couple times where like frame one of the gushing 
touching the water, I pop out of it. And then Mario can't interact with those spouts. See, so yeah, like I said, two hour mark getting out of Seaside. Looks like I'm going to get out just over the 201 mark. Makes sense. Lost like 30 seconds at Mecha Brutal. Another minor rainbow. Could be a lot better. Yeah, Layra, this run is not dead by any means. Best splits or average splits? I'm comparing against the PB of these new splits. It's only my third full run I'm doing with them, so it's a very... Like, the splits are young and still trying to build up what the actual Summer Best is and shit. But yeah, past the two-hour mark, this run is not trash. I would describe it as a fine speed run for my skill level. And one that probably still can sub 320. But it's going to be really hard to get it to do that. Because again, it's young splits. They so don't over, overly rely on what the Summer Best says. Because that Summer Best could definitely be like four minutes lower at least. I didn't set the splits low. No, they're just new splits. So I don't have best segments actually built up for them. Uh, it's in simplified Chinese and it's just, it's faster. The text is faster. So it's just a free time save. See, I'm still having little kickbacks there where I literally was just like tapping back. Oh, see, I'm doing it right there. So that's still a problem. I still think I need a new pro controller. Yeah, uh, this, I'm gonna try to make this my last run with this pro controller, break in a new one. Yo, wahoo! <laughs> what is worn on this one? Uh, the dead zoning is kind of fucked up for whatever reason. I mean, I just, you spin the stick constantly in Odyssey runs because of buffered spin pounds you do. So I'm having kickback. For like a year or two, like over a year. I get about a year out of a controller. It depends on how much, honestly, I'm running Odyssey. Because none of my other games do this to it. So it's a little bit of a criticism of Nintendo for sure. But like, speedrunning Odyssey does kind of do this. Nope, I can tell. Yeah. Coming out of a bad angle.
I'm sure they do. I've never known the first thing about cleaning controllers. That one little weird chicken nugget's worth right there. That's three straight fucking runs now where this has happened. Man. It always goes up second try. Again, that one's my fault. I don't know how, why so consistently I'm messing that up once. That's probably like a 15 second time loss you're eating when that shit happens. 10 at least. the movement getting down to this nut when I have a weird angle I don't know if I should just let myself fall so I want like a straight angle going down yeah we established at the beginning of this run or it might have been the run before that 15 nuts I don't remember if it was the run that we killed off or if it was this one, but 15 wooded moons come from nuts. Not exactly what I wanted coming around that corner, but it's fine. How's this run going? It is It is a very okay run. I would rank this one as right now. It's got a shot at a PB for sure. Oh, well, never mind. Run just died right there. That sucks. That's such a nothing mistake. And once again, that's going to be like a 12 second time loss. Now I gotta wait for the water to come up. Like, the whole cycle just gets fucked. Wooded 2's kinda sucking right now. Just like I slid off the wall, and that's 12 seconds lost. This game's so tough. <laughs> it's so hard, dude. There aren't small time losses in this game. They're all big. They're big and massive. One or the other.
Minor time losses here don't matter unless you miss the burn cycle. Then that's a massive time loss if that happens. That's like a for all intents and purposes, the run is dead. What's up, Temporal Eyes? How you doing, gamer? Some Rambuthen seeds? What at? Oh, very nice. Is this your first time growing it? We've had a couple of people talk about gardening today. Couldn't get Mario to face down. It's like we're losing some time here. Be about break even with PB, but. Doesn't matter. Again, effectively fake rainbows. Real rainbow for these splits. So it, that wasn't a good split. I went way too far. Yeah, I'm hoping to do Spyro 2 next for sub night. I just do that as a straight any percent race. I think even on a blind playthrough. I think even on a blind playthrough, for a lot of people, they'd be able to get that done within four hours. That is a post-game thing that puts a lot more moons into the kingdom. One, two, three, four, five. So, I don't remember off the top of my head which ones are moons that spawn in, so I can't really give a good example. But, like, just imagine, like, half these moons I'm getting here on this vis visit would not be here. If I didn't hit that moon rock. It's meant as something to get to create more of a post game.
Oh, I caught the cycle. Holy buckets. You've got to be kidding me, dude. That shockwave hit me? Bullshit. <laughs> right, but I don't know which moons off top of my head are which of those pipes are tied to the moon rock. Because there are pipes that are not from moon rocks. So it's the same as any of the other moons, trying to distinguish them. I believe that moon right there, like, that's one that wouldn't exist if I didn't hit the moon rock. Same with this little one I'm about to grab that's just over here out on the island in the swamp. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. I guess at that point, at that point, the bird was actually in a good position. To where I should just hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that moon wouldn't be there. Good hitbox. Oh, are all of those? Oh, I didn't know that. Nope. Zero momentum. I can't get any momentum off that strat I'm trying to do. Got a lucky first try there. <laughs> the, the, the thorns in the nose really last forever. That whole stretch. I'm assuming now that I warp, it'll get rid of them. But yeah, that was like six moons that that shit was still on my nose. Only a little slow getting in the pipe. We can make it work. Still doing the damage boost strat until I work on the other strat a lot more. Good thing, like, I was, we were able to get it to go that way. It was obviously closer where we want to go. I 
I would say this sand is fine so far. This sand too. Little annoyed on the shock wave hitting me. Just like a couple damage. A couple damages that happened that we didn't want the cactus bonk. Just do a cap throw to stall myself in the air. Land on him, go. Because those two mistakes have probably collectively lost me like seven seconds, so. Nothing huge so far, honestly. Please. Got stuck on the door. I'm just going to land and go. I'm not going to bother going for the spin pound. Spin pound wouldn't have been faster with me that high up in the air. It never feels like either one's faster. It feels like just do whichever one you want to do. Go get Cappy or stand over there. It's like the same time. You probably got to do the clip to actually make it save any time. Oh my god, the perfect lineup. This run's blessed. All right, chat. This run actually has a chance. Never mind. Run's over. Okay. I I am always nervous about that move. They're just like it's gonna like weirdly buffer my shakes. And it's just not gonna get the moon. What? I think that's too far on the front. I think we're good. I always take the extra like split second to stand there. Because that's one of those spots where like if you try to rush your jump, that's where it doesn't count you as landing on the ground. Yeah, that was a death warp. No, that's faster than stopping and warping. That's the second to last death warp. There's four total death warps in my route. Yo, 318, some of best. Good stuff. It's working its way down. That was a pretty solid sand, too, outside of like two notable mistakes with the damages we were taking. 
So that rainbow is closer to an actual rainbow. God, that's so dumb. Because I'm trying to first frame do it. That's the game being bad. It has like weird variables about when it actually starts the cutscene. So as a speedrunner, you just want to mash out the plus button as soon as the cutscene could be available. But sometimes that stupid shit happens. Where it's supposed to be the first frame after you hit the moon rock. It should give that to you. Nice. Over the long jump. Okay, it didn't randomly flip my camera today, which was trash. So looks like it's the good lineup. Good stuff. Good stuff. We didn't lose a million to the RC cart. I thought for a second I was going to be at a bad angle and fall off. Thankfully, it didn't go down that way. We could have some okay movement coming into the slots. I always kind of run into them. It's a minor time loss, so I'm not stre super stressed about it. It's more one of those things I want to look cooler. And save some time. All right. Not a bad start to, to uh, Metro 2, though. What's up, Dongolator? How's that beautiful Twitch name doing? Dumb, but whatever. Okay. Time for the flick of destiny right here. Well, I didn't fall. I didn't fall all the way down to the street, so it wasn't a big time loss, but I got up against the wall, load that moon on camera. Do well this afternoon. Happy to hear that, man. Okay, got to get left at the cafe, which I want to do an aim and then shake flick. I am shocked that worked. I'm not 100% sure of what my movement is from cafe to crate, but whatever. Couldn't stop myself. <laughs> 
fun fact is a lot of people probably don't know it. That counts as a timer challenge. The middle moon we got there. Even though, like, you're not giving up Cappy or anything, that one actually counts as a timer challenge. I think a lot of people don't know. Okay, get the dog in position. Get that moon prepped. Get the dog over here. Go now. Get the bird. Uh, come on, doggy. There's probably a better leading you can do of the dog into position. But I'm always nervous I'm going to miss the bird. It's actually one of the least punishing bird cycles. Because the bird will come back about 20 seconds later. It makes it because it makes... So either of those moons by themselves, the dog moon or the bird moon, probably wouldn't be worth it. But you have to wait on the bird and you have to wait on the dog. So while you're prepping the bird and the dog, you're getting that other moon and it makes it all work out. Yeah, that was like one of the original route ideas I had and it stayed in the route forever. Which makes for like some really cool routing that by themselves, those moons don't work. But when combined together, man, then it's good. Cause the bird, it, the bird cycle as soon as you warp over there is already gone. So you have to wait for him to cycle back around. I could tell if I tried to dive there, I was going to bonk, so I just took off the dive. Yeah, that makes sense. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and like, I knew that one was a sub area, but I actually never knew that's how it tied together. It makes it make sense visually. But that's cool. I never knew that was a hard distinction. Love the bird strat. Two more moons. We just got this sub area. All right, good Metro 2. Not really much of anything in the way of, like, notable time losses. I didn't get the super good movement up to the bunny. But pretty happy with that. Yeah, very big rainbow right there. All right, worst fish by far. I, I shook. This is an awful video game. I shook. I disagree. I absolutely shook the controller and it buffered it about two seconds later that 
sucked. Lose 15 to the fish. We got the fun cat vault strat there. I took like the one angle that wasn't gonna work. Alright, we actually got the bird strat. I hate the developers of this game for making it that's how the shake control works. Ha uh, I hate it, dude. I know Lake 2 was terrible in the run from the other day as well. So probably realistically, I'm still sitting here with a chance to save time. You weren't a huge fan of this kingdom? It's probably one of the more forgettable kingdoms. I like a lot of the stuff we get to do in the speed run. It has like really cool sub areas and strats. Like I love that timer challenge strat right there. Both the poison pond sub area and the other one I'm gonna do at the end are both pretty cool. But yeah, casually, I would definitely rank Lake Kingdom as probably one of the least memorable, for sure. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. That movement's always awkward for me. I don't really know how to handle it with how he's diving. Right, we need a water world, but there are two in this game. And while the gushing and the cheap cheap are fun, mo swimming around with just Mario is not super great, which they wanted to try to highlight. Use the cheap cheap. Mario, this is not his natural habitat. So like, I get it. a lot of smaller kingdoms not all of them i mean obviously you've got the big ones like wooded sand metro those and lake kind of falls into like the smaller groups with stuff like lost cloud ruined cap all of them Nice, got the off screen. No. Saw my boy Tyrone. Best Super Mario Odyssey speedrunner in the world. 
saw him working on this king on this sub area and uh, he was doing some pretty hot shit in it like what I'm doing here like none of it is particularly difficult and I almost died back there like if you follow Tyrone on Twitter go watch him go fast it is fun yeah, so losing some time here on the rainbow. I wasn't sure if the first run. First run obviously had like, I would say an okay lake. Because that still had some pretty bad time loss at the beginning with like the fish and everything. But you can see how bad the other, the second run was. That I still gained like 32 seconds there. B, D, 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 D. Okay, need to not fuck up the bunny. I think the bunny was a big time loss the other day. Probably can save 15 if I just land on the bunny here. Cool. Nice. Hitting the taxi ate my dive input. Well, I say I also just lost time here on getting to this moon. Just kind of screwed up my movement. I had to wait a couple cycles. Why well, do I make sure I was to the right? Because, yeah, Cappy likes to snap to the lava bubble there. Yeah, I love Luncheon Kingdom. I definitely think it's my favorite kingdom in the game. Balancing it casually with what we get to do in the speedrun. This being one of the highlights right here. All right, a little bit of minor sloppiness there, but whatever. What's up, Ghost Strike? How you doing, buddy? Punt. Typical Saturday. Nice, nice, nice. Keeping it chill. Keeping it chill. I'm surprised that didn't work. We didn't die, so like it's a relatively minor time loss considering what it could have been. I wow. <laughs> I can't believe we did not. I, I'm honestly more surprised that it didn't work than it was that we like survived. Because theoretically, as long as you jump pretty high and super late. You should at worst get that result. You just like double damage boost and you get to it. We almost had like the perfect storm where I got the long jump, but I didn't have the, the hang time. Doodly 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 doodly. Press B here so we don't actually go to dark side. I 
a little bit more rainbow. We're in like the mid 218 range for some of us. So had like two minutes of rainbow today. So that's good. Oh. God, fuck that for a Okay, we got the thing first try. I mean, we're minus 246. We didn't have a single two-minute time save. But we are 246 ahead of a fake PB. Run still solid. This is probably the best pace I've ever had coming into cap two. Nope. That insta capture is always a little awkward. I could work on that. Oh, come on, man. But yeah, regardless, we are definitely ahead of our real PB. This is like best pace ever type thing right here. With a lot of run to go. What's up, Rhea How you doing, gamer? Another one where it's awkward spacing. I don't really know what to do to make sure I talk to him, but not the other one. Good. What could possibly, nothing could go wrong in the next 30 minutes, right? We've never seen it go wrong this late. There's no way Lost 2 would like kill a run or something, right? Never seen that before. Yo, Bernie Sandwich. What's up, gamer? Thank you for the 20 months. Appreciate you. Should have turned my camera. So I lost time regardless, but yeah, if my camera angle's that fucked going into it. At least that's happened before, so I knew how to save it at that point. Agreed, Storm. That's number one on the power rankings. Nope, 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 still nope.
Yeah, I think the most popular pick for a lot of people is Kimono Peach. What? Hello? <laughs> I like the original from 1985. not a bad pick. It's just like being like, oh, I love white rice. It's like, ah, come on. Man. <laughs> Little spice. Put some soy sauce on or something. Also, what's up, newbie? How you doing, buddy? Nah, there are no shines. There's moons and there are some callbacks to SM64 with stars. There are, there is like one single callback to sunshine. You can buy the sunshine outfit in the DLC. Okay. How's this run? It's my best run I've ever had for sure. Can it sub 320? I don't know. It's definitely had some notable time losses in it, but it's overall, this is a pretty solid speed run we're doing. Let us go. Lost 2 is definitely one that can gobble up minutes of time loss with deaths and shit, though. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how the pace is after these 16 moons. Doodly, doodly, doo doo. I am. Rarely will I ever do something where I don't look at splits. But yeah, I can see it. I'm minus 252. I'm minus 252 on a 252-52 split. Coming out of cap. How about that? Dude, if that's not blessed, I don't know what is. Yeah, this game has a lot of Mario 64 shoutouts. Ow, my face. Nice, good spin pound. Okay, good. Got to Captain Toad. Tree Moon and Moon Shards coming up after this. This is definitely the scariest part. Oh, got to the peak, got to the tree without dying. That moon shard sucks. I mean, if it's minus 301, we're not going to be minus. We're not going to be a 301 on the splits. Hey, good, good, good. Oh. Beating all Cooper Fierce, so you're obsessed with those. Hell yeah. What? I, okay. 
That worked out. I couldn't get the camera flip to be right. <laughs> Dude, I remember so when we did uh, the Tropical Freeze like beat. Actually, let me do this real quick. When we did a uh, uh, file completion with like Goldfish, Cruncha, and I, when we did that, there was like, <laughs> obviously there was a lot of like first time we did the level. We got the shiny gold and then we got out of there. Sure. Um, that was a good lost. And I remember like some dude like posted somewhere. I think it was like on like the YouTube comment section of my Tropical Freeze run at like GDQ Express. And they were like, I beat some of Spike's times easily <laughs> from the, the leaderboards there. And I was like, how do I tell this dude? <laughs> that was literally first try. Like, I, I don't tell you, man. That was not that hard to do. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me go do a second run. <laughs> At the same time, man. Hey, YouTube comment section. You do you. You're doing great. You It never looks like you're gonna get that man. I was like, I think we're close enough to where there, where I can just dive onto the Odyssey. Boom. Come on, Mini. Boom, ba, bam, ba, bam, boom. <laughs> yeah, I should have just, like, liked the comment. Spike Vegeta liked my comment? Yeah, I honestly feel like taking out the long jump at the beginning sandbags my movement just enough to where that works out well. Ah, too bad. Not an insta capture. spacing of where I dumped him off at. Motion controls didn't work out for me, and I threw down. Yeah. 
And then once I got the, the lava bubble, I was like, okay, let me just try to take it up, decapture, and chain it into grabbing the Goombas. And then, like, no. They were right at the edge, so I couldn't really get up anywhere. It was weird. One, two, three, four, up to animate. Oh, well, man. Oh, yeah, this is still easily our best run of this we've ever done. As you can see from the best possible time, it's got a shot. I literally had a brain fart. <laughs> right? No, didn't need motion controls after that, did you, Nintendo? Yeah, so there I didn't get caught up. I need to continue to work on that slots movement. Even if this doesn't PB, or even if this doesn't sub 320, hopefully I can PB today with this run. have some new splits to look at. Yo, what's up, Dangers? Uh, this run, I mean, it's got a shot. No. That's two days in a row. That shit's happened. Well. Oh, right, well, that was a good time. I think it's because I'm a little bit on the left side while that shit is happening. A lot of random stuff is happening, sadly, in Luncheon 3 that's kind of preventing it. It's not dead, but yeah, it sucks. I think I can still snag him. This, honestly, it's been like a really good stretch of kingdoms. This luncheon three is awful. Hey, okay, good lava bubble capture. Oh, you are a terrible video game. That's bullshit. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just piloting the game right now. Shit, the fruit actually didn't roll down into the left. Thank you. Okay. Uh... So I don't really know what to do there. All right, that was a terrible lunch in three, but we're still going. No, oh, fuck you, Blue. Oh, no, really, Myrmidoc? I just accept, honestly, at some point, it's a 24-7 marathon. 
and I can catch some of that shit not live. I definitely think it's easier when the event itself is not in person. Oh. I don't even know if I should try to spin pound from here. I might do just a little baby jump dive at it. Catch the awful block live. Yeah, that's that's a stay up moment. <laughs> Can't be over there, lad. All this pace. All right. That was a Super Mario Odyssey moment right there. That's right. Yeah, it's July 4th through the 11th. Going around the left side here, so my angle's gonna be very slightly different. Oh, well, apparently different enough to where I'm gonna go straight into a tree. What the fuck? That's not what I was expecting, but all right. Uh, Goomba Jump coming up right here. Had to hit it. Triple jump there. Well, okay, we're doing it from right there then. The stairs kind of ate my jump dive I was trying to do. It's blowing my nuts off, dude. Sir, what happened to your nuts? Uh, guy was on pace. Guy was on 31st place in Super Mario Odyssey, darker side pace. I was popping off. Right, God damn it, I love 31st places. Swear officer, then I couldn't find my nuts. Talking to Toda at the calm before the final storm. actually appreciate this part just from the routing standpoint around it that like this is the payoff for exactly how you routed the game up to this point wow i think because i'm on the steps things are a little weird so i'm losing little bits of seconds here and there When you go into first person, it causes their talk box to be available immediately. 
But if I press first person, if I press A before I press first person, then Mario jumps instead. So each time you do it, it saves you theoretically like a tenth of a second. I think it's like a third of a second. Like if it's done super optimally. So like on just this talking to Toadette, that can save you like 10 seconds in this bit. Especially like that one right there where it just goes, oh. Whereas if I stood here and I didn't use first person, I gave you slow. Ten more. We're gonna sleep Sandy. How's Darker Side gonna go? That's what this one this run's coming down to, obviously. PB on the line. Sub 320 possibility. Are we gonna, is today going to be one of the random days where we hit an invisible wall with Glide on? Will we screw up the first parts too much? Will I not get the flip jump with the um, with uh, the uproot? I think Mario is like very slowly moving down the stairs. On the last one, really. That's not. <laughs> I imagine I'm going to lose some time on that. Lost some time movement. And honestly, like, that was bad, Toadette talking. I don't know exactly what my rainbows are, obviously, and these are young rainbows. All right. Chat, we've got a shot. For the first time ever, we are going into Darker Side with a shot. Chat, the run's over. I, I, I unironically think Sub 320 just died because Cappy snapped to the wrong frog and I wasn't sure how to fix the spacing. Yeah, that was pack that was patched out of 1.3. 1.2 actually. I'm pretty sure even if the rest of it is perfect. Sub 320 just died.
it probably is one of those, if I unironically hit Flower Roads skip, we'd probably get it. Losing some more time there because I didn't tongue hard enough. That's right. Yeah, I, I don't think it can do it. <laughs> what a time loss, dude. For anyone who doesn't know, there is a flower road skip, which is what I'm standing on right now. That saves like seven seconds. It was just too fucking sloppy, a darker side, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Woo! Fuck. Jesus. Oh, fuck me, man. Thank you for the 10 packs of subs. We fucking did it. 